Downloading music, adding it to your Serato DJ library, and then organizing it into crates is a lengthy process. But today I'm gonna to show you a really quick hack that automates the entire process. Let's see how it's done. So the first thing we need to do is we need to navigate to our auto import folder within the Serato directory. This is very easy to find. It's the exact same process on both Mac and Windows. First, head to your music folder, then open the underscore Serato underscore folder. And in here, we will find a folder called auto import. Anything saved into this folder or dragged into this folder, the next time you launch Serato DJ, it will automatically import that music into your Serato DJ library for you. Now we've found the auto import folder, we can start adding music into this folder to then be imported into the Serato DJ library when we launch the application. But rather than manually dragging all the music we've downloaded into this folder, we can speed the whole process up by using our web browser or our music downloading application to default to save in this folder. To avoid images and general web browsing files getting downloaded into this folder, I like to use a second browser with the dedicated purpose of finding DJ music. So I use Google Chrome on my laptop for general day-to-day -day browsing. So I have Safari set up to download into this folder automatically. To save time, I also have Safari's homepage set to my record pool of choice. So if I head up to the preferences, go to file download location, press other, and then navigate to the auto import folder. So music, Serato, auto import. Select this as your default download location. And then when you're downloading music, this will keep your downloads folder free of clutter and the next time we launch Serato DJ Pro, these tracks will automatically be added into our library. So that's how you do it in Safari. But if you're a Google Chrome user, you'll need to head up to the settings in the top right-hand corner with the three dots, then click Advanced. Go to Downloads and then change the location to the Serato Auto Import folder. If you're using a different browser to Safari or Google Chrome, I recommend you Google how to change your downloads location. You can also set your music download applications to download into this folder and it will do the exact same job. When you launch Serato DJ Pro, all the files that are inside the auto import folder will be added into a crate at the top called latest import. The physical files will be moved from the auto import folder down to Serato imported latest import. This is where the physical files will be moved to. Now we have our files inside Serato DJ Pro and we can go ahead and add these to our own crates. But a quicker and easier process is to take advantage of the smart crates folders. To add a smart crate, click the blue smart crate icon and then add a rule. I like to do genre specific crates and also a lot of DJ applications and DJ record pools will fill in the genre field of the metadata as well. So you know everything added will go straight there. Now when I click in my smart crates, it will automatically load those downloaded files and place them in their own crates as well. A really quick and easy way of automating the whole music download process. And there we have it. It's so quick and easy to set up this hack and you just need to click the download button and it will automatically be added into your Serato DJ library and even organized into a crate for you. So simple. Really does take all the hassle out of downloading music. If you'd like to have a free creative DJ lesson taken from one of our educational courses, do click the link in the top right hand corner. If you've enjoyed this hack, give it a thumbs up. It really is an interesting use of Serato's features is this one and, you know, can save you so much time. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already for more DJ tips, tricks and reviews and hit that bell icon so you're notified when we upload videos. Take care and I'll see you in another video sometime soon. Thanks.